In this video, we are going to take a look at our profile by layout and editing it. Adding in, say, another PVI, modifying our vertical curves, looking at the data. Just in case the first run, we've made a mistake. Now this will happen more often after we have the corridor built because then we will be able to get an accurate representation of the volumes of dirt. And you will need to come back to your design ground here and modify it. Now the first, the first little leg of our alignment here, I've gone about 2.3 kilometers, which is quite a large distance without a vertical curve, especially in the terms of volumes. So if I adjust this up or down, it's going to change the volume of 2.3 kilometers all the way to 3.8 kilometers of dirt. So all the dirt in this section will theoretically change by moving this one little section. So in order to break that up, we're going to add another PVI in the middle here. And maybe we'll add another PVI in the middle over here just to modify and edit this alignment. Or sorry, profile. So to edit your profile itself is a lot like editing your alignment. I'm going to select my cyan colored profile line. I'm going to right click and I'm going to select edit profile geometry. Which will bring up this dialog box that we use to build it. Now we're not going to be, uh, need to use any of these tools. However, to go through the rest of the tools, the first one here we have add P or insert PVI. We have delete PVI. We have move PVI. This one we can draw lines. This one we can draw curves. We can convert AutoCAD lines and splines. We can insert PVIs via a table. We can raise lower PVIs and I believe this will do the entire profile. So I've never actually used it. If you do, be careful. We can copy our profile. We can change the way we modify it if it's PVI based or entity based. We can select a PVI, which will open up a grid editor for us so we can take a look at all the information regarding this specific PVI. We can extend entities. We can delete entities. So if you messed up your vertical curve, a lot like the alignment, we can delete, say, that one little piece instead of the tangents. And again, the profile grid view and this layout parameters, which is this dialog box here. So if I click on select PVI, I do not have any vertical curves associated with that. They don't show up in the table here. So I'm going to go and add that vertical curve back in. I'm going to select the drop down, free vertical curve parabola. Now direction of travel here is important. So we are driving up the road, positive zeros over here and it goes to the end of the road over on this side. So we are driving from here to here with my K value of 130 for a vertical crest curve. And that did not work. From here to here, oh. from there to there, K value of 130. There we go. And if we zoom in, the label says 130. All right, let's go ahead and add a PVI in somewhere over here. So I'm going to select the insert PVI button and I'm going to, going to click, we'll say right there. And maybe we'll add another one up there. And while you have the command open, let's go and do this last one as well. So I've added my three PVIs in and you notice they do not come with any curves. So I'm going to go ahead and insert the curves the same way I did the last one. From there to there and hit enter. From that leg to that leg and hit enter. And then from this leg to this leg and hit oh, this leg and hit enter. As soon as I hit enter again to finish the command, it has actually put those vertical curves in there. So we see we have a nice smooth transition. So it goes from 1.16% now up to 3.79%. And then it flattens out to 0.8. And then it goes up to 1.18, down to 1.89, down to minus 3.06. 
Now, when you're designing highways, there are probably minimum and maximum slopes that we d definitely need to adhere to. And where I live, there definitely is a maximum slope, and that is 3%. Uh, the, the transportation department does not want any highway, if we can avoid it, to be more than 3%, just for safety reasons. However, that is not always feasible. So there's a couple ways that we can change this, this 3.79. If I click on my profile itself and we zoom in on, say, one of the vertical curves, let me move that label. We'll notice the number of grips. We have three circular grips and three triangular grips. Now, what these grips do, these circular grips will extend the PV or uh, vertical curve, so they'll make it longer or shorter, longer or shorter. This one will do the same thing it'll make it longer or shorter. So the circular grips are the vertical curve. The triangular grips are what we move the PVI with. So if we click the center triangle, this will let us move it left, right, up, down, really anywhere we want, as long as we can still build that vertical curve. If, you, if I get too far down, you'll see that the display disappears. That's because it can no longer build it down here. This vertical curve starts interfering with this vertical curve up here. So this grip will move it anywhere we want. This grip here will keep this slope and adjust the road left or right. And then this grip here will hold the outgoing slope and adjust it left or right. Now, in order to make this a lower slope, I'm going to take this grip here and say adjust it to the left a little bit. It's kept my K value of 70 and it's lowered this to 3.74, which again is not enough. So I'm going to try adjusting this one now. When we're adjusting profiles back and forth, you're, you might have to do two or three different vertical curves to get your desired result. And that's down to 3.5% now. However, this still does not give me what I want of the 3%. So I'm going to look at another way of editing it, which is the profile grid view. Now, as we're driving up the road, our initial road is 1.158%. The grade, we select the second PVI, the grade in is 1.158, the grade out is 3.499%. So I can do this a couple different ways. I can change this grade out, we'll say one point, we'll go 1.3%, which will bring that up a little bit. This is now 3.348%. So if I come in here and type three, we'll watch that and it's dropped. Our next section of road is 1.127 and then 1.179%. These two road slopes are very, very, very similar. However, because it is a large distance, it'll be about two to two and a half kilometers. I don't recommend actually removing this because we may have to adjust it. We may have to go, say, up some more like that. So we're now at 1.5% and 0.7 going out. Then we start going down minus 1.8%. I'm gonna switch this to minus 3%, and then we have minus 0.7%. So you're gonna to have to utilize all these various tools when you do come in to building your corridor. Right now, we can only guesstimate dirt volumes based on, okay, this line is above ground, but here it's below ground. Okay, we can move some of this dirt and place it in here. We can move some of this dirt, place it in here, move some of this dirt, fill this hole up. We can only do a guesstimate right now, like I said. So when we get into the corridors, we will definitely be adjusting this up and down and editing this profile quite a bit.